Welcome back to Make Something with me, David Petruto, and today we're gonna make this closet organizer for our sweaters, and it's got a big drawer for laundry. Check it. So this is our current closet situation here in our bedroom. It's cramped, it's got this knockdown IKEA modular system in there that blocks the light up top and also doesn't utilize the space behind the wall here and here. So we wanna take this out and we wanna redo this. What we do like is these shelves here to put sweaters on and we're gonna run that right down the middle so we can have poles on both sides of that to hang everything up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is head out to the shop and make that middle section. I've drawn up my closet divider in Fusion 360. We're gonna start with the two sides here. I got this piece of four by eight maple. This is a little too big for the table saw. So I'm gonna take my track saw and two pieces out of this. So now I'm gonna cross cut these two sides to length. I'm gonna do them both at the same time. So I have them stacked with my track saw here. So for the top of these two pieces, I have this decorative cutout right here and I've changed my mind. I think I just want a round over. So I'm just finding something big and round and I'm gonna stick it on the edge here and draw a line. So to cover up the plywood edges, I got this iron-on edge band in here, and I got it just kind of temporarily taped on there just to make sure it behaves. And you take an iron, and you iron it on. Then we use this guy to trim the edge banding flush. It doesn't work so well on the curve, so we'll just take a, a knife and get that. Gone ahead and sanded it. I'm gonna shellac these guys now before moving on to the next steps because it's just easier while it's a big flat surface. So I've gone ahead and cut the three inside shelves that are gonna be permanently attached. I've done it over at the table saw. You could also use the track saw for that. To attach them, I'm going to use pocket hole screws. So I'm gonna throw this in the pocket hole jig. And again, some edge banding, but just on the front visible edge. So we're getting ready to assemble this. This is a piece that's going to be my back. I'm not attaching the back yet, but I need it as the spacer to get these pieces up a quarter of an inch. I've gone ahead and cut the two footer pieces as well as all of the permanent shelves. And we're just gonna add glue and pocket holes and get this carcass assembled. There is a little bit of shellac on there, so this glue is not gonna have its normal strength, and that's okay. Get over it. Always get the screw started first. So we got the bottom shelf in there. I've cut a couple spacers here for the next shelf that's going to go in. And this will go in just like that. We left that quarter inch gap back there. We're gonna have a drawer here and something that's changed since I filmed the intro is we're gonna have a laundry hamper that comes out on drawer slides to throw our dirty clothes in. So now I can reuse this spacer from when I align that top shelf. I can pre-drill some holes in here for our adjustable shelves and use that as a template to drill the holes for the pins for the adjustable shelves. So that'll be good enough for sweaters. I do want to edge band the front of these so that looks a little better. This edge banding, way too thick for this, but I can get two out of one by slicing it down the middle. So 
So this is day two of the build. In between day one and day two, I repaneled the closet with maple plywood. I also put maple plywood down on the floor, give it some separation from the rest of the room and to lighten it up a little bit. Mostly, I did it just so I wouldn't have to paint. Nobody likes painting. So what's left with this is we're gonna put a drawer right here for clothing accessories. And then basically a large drawer at the bottom that's gonna hold these two clothes hampers that you can pull out, put your dirty clothes in, push back in. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the top drawer out of half inch plywood. I'm just gonna rip a three and a half inch wide strip for the drawer sides. So now that we got that guy cut, I wanna cut the front face of the drawer and the back face first. That needs to be one inch smaller than our opening to allow the half inch thick drawer slides that we're going to install. So now that we have the front and back cut, we need to cut the sides. I've got 18 inch drawer slides, so I want my drawer depth to be 18 inches, but I have to take away a half inch for the front, half inch for the back, so now I'll cut two 17 inch pieces. So now that we have the four sides for our drawer made, we're going to cut a little slot in the bottom of all of them to hold a 1 8 inch piece of plywood. This is the exact same width as my blade, so I can just do one pass on the table saw. You can also do this with a circular saw. It just takes a little bit of trickery. So now that we got that dado cut for the drawer bottom, you could just glue this up. That's probably perfectly fine. I'm gonna use some pocket hole screws that are made for half inch plywood just to reinforce it. But again, I think that's overkill. Woodworkers love overkill. Put a little bit of glue on the ends here. I don't even glue the bottom in there. It's just kind of free flop. I'm gonna use some clamps just to kind of hold this together while I screw in the pocket hole screws. Now I'm installing the drawer slides. I have this jig here that kind of holds it in place and keeps it perpendicular. Then you can pop it off and put in the rest of the screws. I've gone ahead and cut two spacers that allows me to set the drawer on top of that just to make this process a little bit easier. So I'll stick my drawer in here and I'm gonna do one screw over here, one screw over here, pull it out until the next hole is revealed. I'll do another screw there, another screw there, pull it out and then do a third and a fourth. I got my drawer here. I've already gone ahead and cut it, edge banded it, sanded it, shellacked it. And now we're going to drill the holes for the handle. I got my marks here on the back. But before we put the handle on, we're gonna use these holes over here and we're gonna get it right where we want it. And then we're gonna temporarily put two drywall screws in there to hold this in place. This is a cool little trick to get your drawer faces exactly where you want them. So now I can come in from the other side and put in a couple drywall screws to hold that into place. We'll remove those and then insert our handle. Cool, so now we're gonna do the exact same thing for the bottom just a little bit bigger. Dan, do your thing. Our clothes can go all the way back to the walls now. We've removed all that crappy Ikea junk and now our clothes aren't so cramped and there's a little bit of space to move around. I love this drawer down here for our laundry. I'll have links to these laundry bags down in the description. They work great, they're collapsible. They've got a little drawstring on there. 
In a couple of weeks, we're going to build a set of bifold doors that will slide open. We're gonna install a track up top and down below. So look forward to that. All right, folks, we'll see you next week with a brand new project. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.